With a room full of navy suits and white trainers still trying to make sense of what had just unfolded, a glitzy-frocked Catherine Jenkins approached the microphone and began singing the opening line of Queen's, We Are the Champions. The attendees of this perplexing, computer-generated anticlimax of a Champions League draw had certainly paid their dues. This event was supposed to mark the beginning of a new era. Host Reshman Chowdhury, given an unenviable task, boldly claimed that the new format would bring us more competitive matches for Europe's top teams. However, the bizarre 60-minute show that followed did little to dispel concerns that the revamped 36-team Single League Champions League would simply increase the number of meaningless fixtures and deliver an underwhelming experience. Despite the lack of substance, they certainly tried to convince us otherwise. Monaco, Europe's epitome of extravagance, was an appropriate setting for the fur coat promises of minimal substance. UEFA launched their revamped Champions League with a peculiar event in Monaco, where Cristiano Ronaldo's role was largely limited to repeatedly pressing a button while a supercomputer generated fixtures for the first phase of the new tournament. We were subjected to a cringe-inducing video featuring UEFA President Alexander Seferin acting as if he were James Bond, presumably there to save Miss Money Spinner amid the threat of a breakaway Super League, alongside a surprisingly humble Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Cristiano Ronaldo, who spent the evening pressing a button and accepting an award, may still have found it more demanding than a match in the Saudi Pro League. Italian legend Gianluigi Buffon opened the event at the Grand Grimaldi Forum with a statement that the Champions League was the biggest reason I played for so long. He retired at 45 and also won a World Cup and 10 Serie A titles. He followed this with a questionable claim that he played not to win it, but because he enjoyed the experience. Buffon, who received a Lifetime Achievement Award, later drew the balls from the pot before Ronaldo hit the button that determined the lists of opponents. We're in safe hands, quipped Chowdhury, without a hint of irony. Ronaldo then accepted his award for being the all-time leading scorer and displayed his familiar charm and modesty. I won four times at Real Madrid, he said. The Champions League and the goals are like ketchup. When you open the bottle, it keeps coming. There was more entertainment to be squeezed from the bizarre evening, including an awkwardly produced film. Pete Radovic, a producer with 45 Emmys to his name, may receive a less favorable accolade for this performance. Safarin, in a hurry, reassured Luis Figo and others, including Robbie Keane, that the new format is straightforward. Leave me alone, Luis, the charismatic Slovenian said to one of football's all-time greats. It's going to be fine. Figo might have preferred the infamous pigs had thrown at him by Barcelona fans all those years ago to this spectacle. Attendees were also treated to an extended promotional video featuring football stars, with Zlatan Ibrahimovic delivering an unusually self-deprecating performance. There was, at least, a bit of self-awareness when Ibrahimovic suggested to Mr. President that he tell the doubters, this is an all-or-nothing league where legends are made and hearts are broken. You could almost call this a sup before Seferin cut him off. Sure, he said. I told you that will never happen. Catch the joke. Before the draw officially began, Giorgio Marchetti, the assertive deputy secretary, who bore an ironic resemblance to Claudio Ranieri from a distance, informed the audience that the new system meant every goal and every save could change the season's course for the team in play and those on other fields. Then, as Manchester City was drawn first, the computer assigned them matches against Sparta Prague and Slovan Bratislava.